All right. All right. Set. Good. Good. Daphne, set. There we go. Good job. Good job. All right. You might have guessed. We're at the dog park. Doggy park. <laughs> and we are helping uh, Daphne. Same thing. Daphne, set. Good. Same thing as before. We've got a all hands dog area, a small dog area. Daphne set. Good job. Um, people are coming in and out. It's six o'clock on an evening and uh, weekday evening and um, a lot of traffic coming through here. All right, so Daphne set. Good. Good. Daphne set. There we go. Good job. All right, so we got these two little dogs. Every dog that walks by, it doesn't matter the size. And it doesn't even matter if it's a dog. If it's just a person on their phone walking by. Any distraction that causes her to lose focus from me, I'm helping her through. Every distraction is what we're, we're after. Not just the dogs or the little dogs. Because all the distractions are practice. And we get a lot of practice, right? So um, it's important to understand that we're not just looking for certain things. We're looking for attention. And when we lose the attention, we get it back regardless of what goes on around us. Daphne, set. Good. Regardless of what goes on around us in the real world. We want our dogs to follow our lead and not cue off the environment and things like that. So um, so that's that's the understanding. That's our mindset. And that puts us in, the, in a place mentally where we are as proactive as possible in helping dogs stay on task uh, to sit. Daphne, sit. Good. To stay on task so we can build habits that have more uh, reliability and more reliability is what people are after especially when they come to us and they've already been through set they've already been through a couple of training programs over the course of the time they've had their dog and things like that so um so that's what we want to have here so now doing really well so i've got one more dog that's coming up from behind me oh sorry i'm talking and not videoing the dogs <laughs> except <laughs> daphne so we've got more dogs coming in and uh dogs coming out and um so once this dog passes, we're gonna go ahead and go a little further. What's up guys? Daphne set. All right, so we've got a, a smaller bubbly dog coming by. And I'm gonna drop the leash here. I'm still close so I can step on it if I need to, all right? But I wanna have more distance here. And if I didn't trust Daphne, I wouldn't have her, I wouldn't drop the leash, I'll use a longer leash. All right, but here, Daphne set. Good. Good. Little dog. All right. Little curly dog. Appetizing, right, Daphne? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. So, um, okay. So now, big distance. We've already done lots of distance with Daphne, so this is not brand new. I don't want to teach distance brand new when we first uh, or when we start practicing around heavy distraction. Sit. I want her to already have known it first before we start getting around um, the distraction so that the only difference is the, the place, the environment, and also I mean, I mean, and also the distractions that are in the environment. So, hey, what's up, dog? What's up? All right, cool, so. All right, what's up? <laughs> Good job, good job. Okay, set. this might be a little overwhelming, but we'll see, not too bad. Not too bad. Like. Daphne said, good job. What's up, ladies? How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Cool doggies. Dog. Thank you. All right. All right. This is one of my places to go. I love, I love this place. Oh, look at that. We're just not short on dogs. Look at that. We got two more coming. It's perfect. Daphne. Oh, let me come back and tell Daphne. Good job, Daphne. Good job. There we go. Okay, so set these dogs come by. Oh, they're going set. <laughs> there we go. All right. Good. Good. So they're just going to hang out over there for a minute. And um, set. Good. Good. Good job. Okay. Notice when she's looking at me, she's more relaxed. We went over this in a previous video that when she sees a distraction, she gets tense and excited, right? So set, and the lick, she starts licking the lips and things like that. So Daphne set, set. All 
All right, so this is a harder one. Got a little uh, set. There we go. Good job. Good job. All right, so that's why I help around every dog. If I didn't, now that one dog was harder. He's over there now. The one dog was harder than the than the rest. So something about that dog, but we don't always know. So a lot of people tell me their dogs are reactive to certain dogs, but not others. So um, it's hard to know. So what we say, sit. Good. What we say to that is help your dog around all of them. All right. Help your dog pay attention to you around. Sit. Every distraction. Your dog might not react. Daphne, sit. Good. Your dog might not react outwardly to every dog, but they do react to the dogs that they don't react to. And what I mean by that is your dog's excitement rises really high um, and uh, it reacts to a dog. But maybe your dog, there's a dog your dog does not outwardly react to, but your dog looks at them. Their excitement still rises, right? So there's still opportunity to practice better attention around those dogs too, right? So whether she's going to react or not outwardly she's still reacting on the inside because her excitement still climbs her internal excitement rises so all these other dogs that helped her around helped me warm her up for the hard one the, the one hard dog 